Hi there, I'm Veronica from the support team and in this video I want to talk about the unsubscribe option in Woodpecker's campaigns. More specifically, I want to show you how to include the unsubscribe link in your email and signature or the ways to change its text and style. In the cold email world, the people you contact don't specifically sign up for emails like they do in newsletters. So what's important here is to give them an option to unsubscribe from this type of outreach. It's especially important as the email rules are constantly changing. Big email providers like Google and Yahoo are prioritizing user experience by requiring easy opt-out options for big senders. It's also better if prospects unsubscribe from your messages than put you in the spam folder, as that will just result in hurting your domain reputation. Follow me along so I can show you how to set everything up in Woodpecker. Firstly, let's start with probably the most efficient way, adding the unsubscribe link to your email signature. With this option, the link is always there in the email copy, once, of course, you choose to use the email signature in every message. So in your account settings, there's an option to add the unsubscribe snippet. Simply add it there and save changes. In case you want to include the unsubscribe link more freely in the email copy or you're not adding the signature there, open the campaign email editor and choose to add the unsubscribe snippet wherever you want it in the text. When your prospects click on the link, Woodpecker will stop all scheduled emails for them. Their status will be changed to opt out and the unsubscribe tag will be added to the prospect's data. Sometimes some prospects would want more from you. And in this context, we're talking about encrypting their data in our database. For this reason, you'll find an option to GDPR encrypt the prospect. When you open the campaign settings, you'll see the option to check mark the box. So once your prospects clicks on the unsubscribe link, their data will be GDPR encrypted in our database. Now, another option you'll see there to check mark is the one called list unsubscribe header. With some email guidelines from email providers, for example, Google or Yahoo, it's important to think about giving your prospects a quick way to unsubscribe from your email list. If they can do it with one click, that's even better. When you choose this option, the unsubscribe button will be added as a header to the message. So sometimes prospects could do the process of unsubscribing without even opening the email. And with our email and signature editor, you can also style or unsubscribe link, whether by changing the text, its format or its color. The most basic way to do so is to use the email editor options. As for something more advanced, choose the icon to switch from simple text to HTML. Find the fragment you want to change, place your alternative text. So for example, write, I don't want to receive any more emails. You can also change the color with the hex color code or with the color name just find the right part in the HTML to do so. Switch back to the text view and see if everything is good with the link. Keep in mind that when you send a test message, the link won't work, but there's no need to worry as this is the expected behavior of our app. Also, simply copying the link from one campaign to the other won't do the job and the prospects won't be able to unsubscribe properly. So that is the essential information on how to tailor your message to your prospects so they have the option to opt out of your contact list. Following these instructions will definitely help you keep your prospects database in order. I hope you'll use this guideline for your work. If you have any questions about it, write in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more cold email tips and see you in the next video.